Celebrating its 25th year of existence, the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America held its 2013 induction ceremony at the Fillmore in downtown Detroit. Past inductees, representing some of the biggest names in racing, were on hand to welcome seven new members into the hall. The lavish ceremony was emceed by former race car driver and racing commentator David Hobbs. Tonight we're celebrating a quarter century of recognizing the greatest stars of the most exciting sport on the planet, Motor racing. 2013's inductees included Robert Peterson, publisher of Hot Rod Magazine and Motor Trend. He also created the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. He passed away in 2007. Inducted in the sports car category was Mastin Gregory, who was the first American to compete on a consistent basis on the European dominated Grand Prix circuit. He passed away in 1985. Inducted in the historic category was a name familiar to most Americans. Harvey Firestone was recognized for his contributions to not only racing, but to the automotive world in general. His tires were on each of the winning cars at the Indy 500 for an incredible 47 consecutive years. His success on the racetrack resulted in sales to the average consumer. His motto was, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. Firestone passed away in 1938. Jack Chrisman was recognized in the drag racing category, not only for his success behind the wheel in the 70s, but his countless innovations on and off the track. Chrisman passed away in 1989 at the young age of 61. Brad Lackey was inducted in the motorcycles category. He was the first American to win a motocross world championship in 1977 and broke down barriers for American riders overseas. I'm very proud of that, being from Northern California and having that many people in, in this hall that uh, are great racers that I looked up to my whole career. And uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, Ron. You did a great job. You really walked us through this. And without you, it would be very difficult. And I really appreciate all the help from you and all the volunteers and sponsors and everybody that's going, you know, doing all the work to make this happen. This is a beautiful thing. And I hope to come back again and again. Thank you. In the stock car category, Bud Moore wasn't recognized for his driving abilities, but for his skill under the hood. As a mechanic and car owner, he managed an incredibly successful career on the Trans Am circuit and NASCAR. It's been great being in the racing business and all the years that I was and all this. And I want to thank all the guys that's here tonight, the drivers that I drove for me all the years and this and that. And it's a good thing to know because being inducted in this Hall of Fame, I got to meet a lot of people I hadn't saw in about 15 or 20 years. And that's been real thrilling to me to meet all these people. And I want to thank everybody here as far as the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America. That it's been a real honor to be drafted into this organization. And I'm real proud to be part of it. And I'm looking forward for over the years to be back and celebrate this organization. Thank you. And finally, Alex Zanardi was inducted into the Hall of Fame in the open wheel category. He came to America from Italy after being signed by Chip Ganassi to race in IndyCar. He earned Rookie of the Year in 1996 and won the championship two years in a row. After losing his legs in an accident in 2001, Zanardi was an inspiration to others, continuing to race with prosthetic legs and hand controls. He also became a gold medalist in hand cycling. The best driver does simply not exist. You, can, you have to accept the idea that every driver is very, very talented, and uh, if, you wanna, if you wanna end up on Sunday afternoon happy, you gotta do a better job in uh, building your weekend, uh, working uh, really well with your team, in trying to squeeze every ounce of performance out of the race car. And uh, well, the only way I know to do this is uh, uh, you know, surrounding myself with, with people that uh, can become my family, my friends. And in this respect, you know, I have to thank once more all the people that were involved with the Target Chip Ganassi Racing Program in those years. Um, but again, as I said, uh, the fans, uh, the sponsor, Hal Spire, and all the friends at Firestone, all the friends at Honda, at Target, um, Chip Ganassi, who gave me uh, a very incredible opportunity, uh, my family, and last but not least, since I was speaking about friendship, about loyalty, about support, uh, a gentleman who 
would certainly be here with his camera taking pictures if he hadn't passed away three days ago, named uh, Floyd Ganassi, to who I'd like to dedicate this prize. And, uh, well, there's not much other to say other than thank you again. It's a great honor for me to be here. Thank you. In Detroit, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.